Uh, this is a split call, five minutes. I call Joe Luxton. Uh, thank you, Mr Speaker. I'm, I'm really wrapped to be able to stand and take a call on this, the Education, Tertiary Education and Other Matters Amendment Bill. This is the uh, first bill that I've had the opportunity to be a part of in Select Committee and have it come through to the House. Uh, the, the Select Committee worked really well together. It was really collegial, um, working with the members of the opposition on this bill. It's something I really enjoyed, and there was only a few um, minor things, in my view, that we didn't quite agree on completely. So the purpose of, of this bill, as, as we've established today, is to strengthen the accountability in the tertiary education sector. It's to provide for consistent treatment of tertiary education organisations and to broaden student protection arrangements. Now, I wasn't part of the um, process when the committee received submissions, but there were over 2,000 submissions, and the vast majority of, the majority of them opposed um, Section 159 NA. And I'd just like to, if I may, read, read um, one that particularly stood out for me. Well, actually, there's two here, but one uh, was made um, by Laura Moles. And it, and it reads, public tertiary institutions provide the breadth and depth of educational opportunities that allow thousands of individual students to pursue their interests. And they are necessary to ensure that New Zealand continues to benefit from a, an innovative, diverse workforce. Some areas of study and research may not be highly profitable in a money sense, monetary sense, but provide social, scientific or artistic payoffs that enrich our lives and drive progress. Public institutions have cr already chronically underfunded, should not be required to compete on equal terms with private profit-driven companies for government funding. If a tertiary provider aims to pre benefit private owners rather than the public good, then it should be required to do so under its own power. So we are very, very proud of our public institutions here in New Zealand, and our universities are ranked among the top, top 500 around the world. Uh, our polytechnics meet the needs of our communities by providing educational, often in our smaller regions. So with the removal of 159A, which stated that uh, Every funding mechanism must be consistent with the principle that an activity or approved program by or training scheme is to be funded at the same rate as directly comparable activity or directly comparable, comparable approved program or training scheme, regardless of the identities of the tertiary education providers concerned. Now, we removed that um, in the select committee, and that's because we are very proud of our tertiary or our, our public institutions. And, uh, believe that they should be funded so. So the other thing I wanted to mention was the repealing the definition of private training establishment. Now we uh, again removed this from the, uh, the bill because, the, because we feel that it was just purely wanting um, to be able to trade on the standing of our public tertiary uh, institutions. And it's important that we maintain the distinction between our public institutions and those of private training providers that are run for profit. Also, in the past, there's been questionable behaviour from providers, and this um, amended bill addresses ongoing concerns in this area. Uh, taxpayers' money is used to fund these providers, and as such, they must be able to be held accountable for questionable behaviour. And by questionable behaviour, I mean falsifying student records. So uh, what this bill does is it um, makes amendments to strengthen the offence provision and increase the penalty uh, for falsifying student records from $10,000 to up to $50,000. And this is going to encourage providers uh, to act honestly and ensure that they maintain student records accurately. In closing, I want to thank all those that took the time to submit on this bill. Um, it's great when people uh, participate in our democratic processes. And again, I really want to thank all previous and current committee members for their work on this bill. And I commend this bill to the House.
Go on, Jay. Well done, mate. Um, five.